Whoa, the double chin is like, boom. Hey guys, and welcome back to another brand new video for you today. And I'm back, I missed a week again. I feel really bad for keep saying that I'm gonna make videos and then week comes and then I just don't do it. But this is my last official air review for the season. I know, I'm sad. I don't want the season to end. So anyway, sorry for missing last week. But wow, what a season. I will start there. Wow. Season five, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys, this has been my favorite season of Arrow thus far. Like, I love season two, I love season one, season three, eh, season four, bleh. But, I mean, yeah, it had its moments, season four had its moments, but as a whole, it just it wasn't Arrow. I'm sorry, it just wasn't Arrow. Season five, it's, it's, I, I, I'm speechless. I don't know. Like, I think because what made it the best season for me is because having season three and season four not doing extremely well, a lot of people weren't happy with them, just, and I wasn't either. I was just like, Arrow, come on, you're better than this. You're better than this. The first half of, hold on. Oh, yeah. The first half of season three was, like, good. I, I loved it. And then it kind of went... I don't know if they got different writers or different directors, I don't know. But it just, it didn't flow very nicely. But, season five, since having those two seasons not that great, I think we're all, I was just like grasping, I was like, please let season five be really, really good like season two and season one. Please let it be, ah, got them in my eye. But yes, I was really hoping for it and I was just like, prove all these Arrow haters wrong even though they're still going to be hating on it because that's what they do but I was really really hoping like please be so good and then it just progressed and it progressed and it progressed and I was so excited and I think that's what made it coming off from not the greatest two, last two seasons and having it be like the best season ever was like thumbs up I there's so many and try to get this into a short little video for you guys it's gonna be hard to do. So, and I didn't write them down. I should have written it down, but I was just too excited during the episode. I was like forgetting to write anything down. I was just like, this is so good. I can't, I can't stop. I can't do anything. So we start at the beginning of the episode and Slade's back, you guys, Slade. He's never been my, like I love Slade, but in a villainous way. Like he's like, he's a villain. Like he's so mean. Having him back in this, episode slash end of the season was like really good and I wasn't expecting him to be like so gung-ho like oh Oliver you and me are best friends again kind of like that you know I wasn't really that way but he was he was on par with helping Oliver which I thought was interesting and I thought it was like yes I love you know nice Slade I love Slade being you know, the nice guy, even though he killed Oliver's mother in season two, which really, really made me upset at him, even though I didn't really care for Moira. But yeah, he's back and he's up with Oliver and Oliver gets Digger Harkness, which is Captain Boom Boom Meringue, whatever his name is, and uh, he recruits them and then Boomerang, like, he betrays Oliver, which is no surprise at all. I mean, I was surprised, I was like, oh, Okay, now the odds are getting even slimmer for Oliver's team because, you know, Black Siren, Evelyn, even though she's not that much of a threat against Oliver and his team, and then uh, Talia Al Ghul, which is awesome. I love Talia Al Ghul. And then Prometheus, and then all the League of Assassins people, and then Digger Harkness. So I'm like, the odds are a little slim here, um, but I'm willing to see how it all pans out. So we had that, and that was interesting. I have like, my negatives are very slim in this episode. Just some like nitpicky things here and there with like realization. Like when, okay, <laughs> when Talia and Digger Harkness are there and Talia like puts the smoke on the ground or whatever she does to explode, it's a little harder to believe in a room it's okay. Like, okay, fine, whatever. Maybe there was a corner they snuck around. But it's a big open field. How? I'm sorry, no matter how good of a ninja you are, you cannot escape the reality that this is this is not 
no. But that was a little minor nitpick. It was kind of funny because I was like, eh, what? Okay. So anyway, we had that and then Oliver is trying to find the team. He finds the team. They all get out and then Prometheus kind of has different parts of the team kind of scattered everywhere like Quentin and Diggle and Dinah and Wild Dog, Renee, in some kind of whatever, un it was a building of some, I forgot what they called it, but temple, there we go, some kind of temple or something like that, which was, has been on the island, apparently they've mentioned it before, but I've, correct me if I'm wrong, I've never heard of it before, but I guess it's been there since season one, I guess, I don't know, but I was just like, okay, it's a cool building, I can let that pass. Oh dear, we had that, and then Malcolm, Merlin, it was kind of weird, I guess, it's not really a negative in my opinion, but it was just kind of weird that this has been a big character since season one, and to kill him off like that, I was a little skeptical. I'm thinking that they're probably going to bring him back in a, another episode, maybe to say, like, I feel like they're saying he's dead, but if they want to bring him back at all, they can bring them back. It might come to, in the first of the season six, they might say like, oh yeah, he's, he's dead, I see his body. They just might not show it because the actor is not going to be on Arrow anymore, supposedly. So we had that and I was a little sad. I was like, oh, I've never really cared for Malcolm as that great of a character. He just kind of makes me laugh a little bit in, like, in a good way, not in like a ha ha, you're such a stupid person. No. So he's he's been around since season one and to have him kind of end like that was a little sad. I was like, oh. And I kind of liked it. Sorry guys, I cut off really weird there. My card ran out of memory again. But anyway, like I was saying, yes, it's kind of sad that he's gone. And the way he went was kind of like, I kind of liked him at the end when he was saying that, um, you know, talking to Thea and like, you know, like my goal has always been to want to protect you and such and such and such. And I was like, even though he's a villain, and that's kind of creepy for him to say it, it's also, it's kind of like, oh, you kind of see a different side of him. And Thea, yeah, I thought they, for the first time ever, I thought they had like a good chemistry uh, going on. So that was kind of sad. And I was, I, you know, I was a little skeptical, but then the actor, he confirmed later today that he was like, okay, yeah, I am actually done with Arrow. I'm not coming back anymore. Uh, as of right now so I'm thinking he's probably gonna be dead um, even though I'm just like why would you kill off a character like that it just seems a little weird unless they're wanting to wait until next season to kind of dive into it more since they didn't have maybe they didn't have time in this episode oh well then we have you know a little bit of an allicity scene a lot of people hate it a lot of people love it I'm one of the people that love it um, just because I like Oliver and Felicity and I feel like they've done it right. The first few episodes of the season were like, eh, I still see a little bit more bossy Felicity. But no, I thought it was really well done this season and I thought the ending of this episode was kind of like a, just a little, you know, little spark just to say, hey, it's not gone, but you know, we're gonna take our time with it. And I was just, yeah, yeah. This is this is the all city stuff that I like. You know, understanding, fun, and cute, you know. I just, I like that, so that's a little side, side story. But anyway, so then we get to the final moments of this episode where Oliver is freaking out because he wants his son. Adrian is just being a jerk and he's not giving up, you know, Oliver's son to him. And then I knew, I was like, William's on the boat. Come on, Oliver, check that other room that's on the boat. Why, you know, just check it. Good grief. And then I was like, it better not end on this cliffhanger that Oliver can't find his son or whatever that is. I was gonna be upset and frustrated and like, no, I need to see Oliver and his son reunite. Adrian, he pulls him out. Adrian's like beat up and everything like that. And I think Adrian really, now that I look back on the season, that was his goal. If his goal was want wanting Oliver to kill him, then that was his whole plan at the end of, that was his whole crusade. He knew he was gonna die either way. So I'm like, that's just kind of messed up and that's kind of sad. But it, you know, he's a psychopathic villain, but I didn't want him to die. I was like, Adrian, don't, don't, don't do that. It's just, that was sad. I totally like missed that. Yeah, if he kills himself, the island blows up. I, I wasn't, I apparently missed that in the episode, but um, 
Yeah, that was just, that was sad. I didn't want him to die. I almost teared up. Oh, well, I did tear up, but I didn't, like, cry. But it was just, like, it was sad. And, and you know, I know, <laughs> the thing was with this guy, I know that this is a TV show. It's fiction. It's not real. But it's, like, you know, I, it pulls on my heartstrings. Pulls on my heartstrings. And so, Adrian, I think this is my favorite part of the episode. Adrian brings out William. He's about to, you know, kill him, supposedly. And, um... Oliver has an arrow and I think all of us were saying this like shoot him like shoot Adrian He's gonna you know like you know shoot him somewhere um, And he shoots him in the leg kind of tricks Adrian a little bit and oh my goodness When Oliver got his son back all oh, that that just I Don't get how some people don't like this storyline. I love it. I love the Oliver and son dynamic I've loved it ever since we heard about it in season two. I was like what? He has a son. What? You know, I've I've just loved this storyline, and I wanted them to do more with it. And I've I've been wanting to see Oliver kind of as a father figure because that's kind of what, as we've seen in this episode, he's never gotten over his father's death. And having that kind of dynamic with Oliver and him having a son, I've just I've wanted to see for like the longest time, and we got to see a little bit of that hug at the end. Just is like. Mm. And maybe it's because I'm a girl, I don't know, but that was just such a good, strong scene. It was just like, man, Oliver really does love his son, even though we don't get to see it very much. He does, and like, this is his son. And then, poof, the island blows up because Adrian kills himself! Why does it have to end like that? I'm sorry, I like... I told someone today that I have a love-hate relationship when it comes to cliffhangers. I love him. But at the same time, I hate him because we have to wait another five months to get the extra storyline that's gonna happen. I just, I don't know. But the thing is, that's kind of a little bit of like a spoiler, if you will. Click off this video if you don't want spoilers. But apparently, okay, so Felicity, Dinah, Renee, Diggle, and Oliver are all confirmed, and Black Siren are all confirmed for next season. So you know they don't die. I'm not sure if Thea and the rest of the people on that island are confirmed. By the way, what happened to Ragman? I could not stand Ragman, but what happened to him? I was darn sure that they were gonna bring him back, but I guess maybe because of budgeting or acting, he couldn't come back, I don't know. But he was, he was not a good character, but I'm like, that's kind of weird that they just and maybe they'll bring him back in season six, possibly. But yeah, Ragman, no, I'm just, yeah, not a fan of Ragman. I just, no. Anyway, that's how the episode ends, and I freaked out, and I screamed at the TV. I was like, no, this cannot happen. No, no, no. But it was still a great cliffhanger, and to see that these five seasons have culminated to one big epic finale. I loved it. It was the best episode of Arrow ever. 10 out of 10 in my rating, guys. And I have absolutely loved this season. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of this season and what did you take away from this season finale? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Could you, did you want more? Did you not want more? Let me know what you thought down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And please share this video with your friends and other Arrow head people and uh, I guess we'll talk definitely this is this is my last arrow video for this part of the year and so this is gonna be kind of sad so if you want me to do some more arrow related stuff or some other stuff I've got some stuff planned this year that I'll do that is it for this season 5 arrow reviews even though it was kind of choppy the episodes that I you know give but I'm so happy guys and I'm glad I got to do this with you all and I am excited to see what season six holds. So you guys have an amazing day and we'll hood up this October.